So welcome to my presentation. So this is my first paper presentation, first ever. So today I'll be presenting on a semi-supervised recognition of sarcastic sentences in online product reviews. So first of all, let me wish everyone a happy Chinese New Year. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's the year of the red. So okay, so what I'm going to present now is on Sasi. Okay, Sasi is actually <laughs> semi-supervised algorithm for sarcasm identification that recognizes sarcastic sentences in product reviews. So actually to begin with, what is sarcasm? Or rather what defines sarcasm? So sarcasm actually, if we open the dictionary, right, it says it's the activity of saying and writing the opposite of directly of what you actually mean. And with the intention to make someone feel stupid or actually to show them that you are angry. But why am I presenting this? It's basically of this that Maxim presented just now, hard patterns. So, okay, let me talk more on that later. <laughs> Okay, so Sassy, right? For the paper, uh, the paper authors, right? Their motivation for writing this paper is that for commercial purposes, like they feel like this is uh, recognizing sarcasm is actually very important in improving personal personalizations and recommendations, as well as for opinion mining and sentiment analysis as well. So, for example, given this sentence, right? So this book was so interesting that I stopped reading in after page two. Is this sarcasm? Yeah. yeah. Does it, the book have more than two pages? Exactly, that's the question. <laughs> so is that sarcasm? We are unsure, right? To us, we may think that, yes, it's easy because we, we know the context. Uh, yes, uh, maybe there's 100 pages, but I stopped reading after the second page. But for the machine, we may not know, right? So as we stepped into this room just now as well, right? We said this. It was it's so cold. It's so cold here that I'm actually sweating. So is this sarcasm? It's we are not sure, right? <laughs> <laughs> we, we we may say it's quite hard, right? For quite hard for humans for us to know. But for the machines, it will be crazy hard. So with that, we require sassy. So. The classification uh, framework and algorithm. So for the classification framework, this is a semi-supervised learning uh, framework. So given a review, right, uh, we uh, like certain people actually assign the score like one to five, like one given like total absence of sarcasm, while five is like a defin definite sarcastic sentence. So we extract the features as well. We extract like uh, synthetic and pattern-based features, and search engine queries were utilized to provide more examples into the training set as well. That one I'll mention more about it later. So for pre-processing, so we want to avoid like uh, the extraction of some specific patterns. So for example, given like a, a product name, we don't want this to be learned by the by the the, the, the framework. So things like products, companies, titles, and authors are all removed, or rather they are changed into text. But and also at the same time, HTML text and symbols were also all removed. So given this like uh, review, right? It says I love Apple iPhone 11 Pro. It, it becomes I love company product. So for pattern extraction, right? There's this thing called the high frequency word and a content word. So for high frequency words, right, there are words that appear more than H times per million words. And content words, right, are words appearing less than C times per million words. So in this paper, they have set H as 1000 and C as 100. So for high frequency words, uh, they, so for the sentence, right, the high frequency words they have to uh, the sentence have to begin with a high frequency word and also end with a high frequency word. Yes. So given this sentence, like uh, it's a real review, it says Garmin apparently does not care about product quality or customer support. Or oh, this is the review, not my, <laughs> not me. Okay. So we convert this into tech. So the company tech. And that's a high frequency word because we see it more than a thousand 
times per million words. So the com uh, this company tag we see more, and also at the same time, right? This um, this punctuation is also considered a word. So in this case, we start with a high frequency and end with a high frequency word. So 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 the given patterns that we'll have are things like company content word does not content word much, or rather does not content word much about content word, content word, all these kind of things. So with these patterns, then we'll be able to understand whether is this sarcastic or not. But before, do, before we do that, we have, to, we have to select the specifically the patterns as well. So there are certain uh, sentences, right? Like that only mentions a certain product, like looking for a Canon camera. The authors realize that this may not be a relevant sentence because it's more like a, there's probably no sarcasm inside. Or rather, oh, sorry. Okay, so, or rather, if, I, if they are comparing products, right, with, uh, and it's labeled like five or one, like de definitely sarcastic or not sarcastic at all, these are totally irrelevant according to what they feel because these are very common patterns. And next on, so for each sentence, right, we calculate the feature value. So, if a sentence has an exact match, so it's, they will give you a 1. If not, it's a, in this case, it's alpha if it's a sparse match. In this case, which is a 0 0.1. Or incomplete match or no match at all. So, we are talking about pattern, match, pattern features, right? So, next on, we have punctuation-based features. So, what the, what the authors have felt is that when, when we have a review that has many exclamation marks or let's say question marks or many capitalized words or letters, it is more likely to be sarcastic. But that's what they feel before they, before they, 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 they ran the experiments. So this is preliminary. And also next on is, so earlier on I mentioned about the, the, the data, um, the learning set, right? whereby they actually en enriched the data with more training data. That's right, training data is a word. Yes, so how did they actually do that? It's utilizing this thing called the Yahoo Boss API. So with the, uh, the, the assumption that says, sarcastic sentences, right, they frequently co-appear in text with other sarcastic sentences. So similar sentences were probably, if one is sarcastic, the other one is probably sarcastic. So, for every sentence, they, they actually collected 50 search engine snippets. So, what do, I mean, what do I mean by snippets? In this case, it's like, this book was really good until page 2, for example. So, we will pick the first six words, and we, and we put it into the API, this is what we get. So, G, I thought this book was really good until I found out that the author didn't get into bread loaf. I don't know what that means, but I think it's sarcastic. Yes. <laughs> So, so this is how we got more training, uh, training data. Okay, so next, next on, right, now we've learned the, learned the patterns, right? This is how we do our classification. So classification, we, we utilize k-nearest neighbors to assign like scores to the new neighbors. So in this way, the score is actually the weighted average of k closest training set vectors. So in this case, if there's no uh, matching vectors, right, that means it's not sarcastic and we just assign it a score of 1. And over here we think, since humans actually don't understand whether something is sarcastic or not, right, how do we have a baseline? So the authors had a, had a very uh, good approach. So in this way, they call it the star sentiment baseline. So the idea is that in, Am in an Amazon review, right, I get the sentiments of the review. So meaning, or if it has always been saying about something good, but the user gave one star and gave a, like, a negative, uh, unhappy review, like one to three stars, then that is actually sarcastic. So that's our baseline here. So the data we had was data from Amazon of over 66,000 reviews 
over 120 products of different domains. So the main evaluation points are things are uh, pattern acquisition process, like how consistent is, is it? And also to what extent has it been correctly classified? And also to evaluate the algorithm on test set of unseen sentences. So we compare it with a golden truth to prevent overfitting. So and to ensure that it's totally not biased, because this is a semi-supervised learning. So if we were to to learn based on the uh, what we call seeds, what we call okay, we have to we have to compare it to the golden truth basically. So so to not overfit it. Okay, so the results we get for this, firstly, right, for punctuations is not as good compared to using patterns. Or punctuations and patterns are better together. But if we use SASI as a whole, it's, it's best across the board. But interesting enough, like for uh, if we enrich it with data from Yahoo API, it seems to it seems to have improved a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> then at the same time, right? Comparing it with our baseline, right? It seems to be substantially better. Okay. So, these are what the authors found after that. So, they realized that punctuation marks are actually the weakest predictors. Like, different from what we mentioned earlier on. And also, three dots. These three dots, right, with other features are actually a very strong predictor. So, given, for example, this sentence. So I guess I do not I don't think very brilliantly dot 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 well dot 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 it was okay dot 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 yeah so if you see a lot of dots probably it's sarcastic that's what it think. <coughs> and as what we thought if it's capitalized words like almost nothing happened this isn't bad so customer service it's zero customer service this kind of things if it's capi capital letters probably it's sarcastic. And also at the same time right there are limitations. So this, when we say about this example, right, this book was really good until page two. We don't know whether if this means the same thing or not. Like this book was really good until page 413. What if there was 430 pages? We are unsure of that. And also they realize the following. So there are more, actually more sarcastic comments, right? If a product is actually more popular, like a very popular product or a product is actually very simple, like a simple product that has only one function, only has one thing to do, and also a product that is very expensive. So given these three, uh, these three points, right, there should be more sarcastic comments. So with that, we think that HUD is a, how would you say, it's an alternative to the deep learning approaches. And why is that so? Let's move on to the next point. Thank you. Okay.